Michaela Chester here for NCAA Digital. I am joined by Reed Detmers today from Louisville Baseball. And Reed, first and foremost, how are you? I'm good. Uh, just kind of hanging out uh, with my teammates, uh, keeping the safe distance away from each other, obviously. But yeah, just kind of hanging out and I'm still working out. I'm still throwing, keeping my body in shape. So yeah. Are you still at school? Yes, I'm still, uh, I'm still at Louisville. Um, I'm not at home. Uh, back home is pretty rough right now, so I'm keeping my distance away from my family. Uh, so nothing nothing really uh, harms anybody. Yeah. How do you feel about Emerson tossing this over to you? I know you were supposed to meet this summer at USA Baseball. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I, obviously, I know one of his good uh, teammates, uh, Cole Wilcox. Uh, but, yeah, I've never really met him. I'm looking forward to meeting, meeting him in the future. But, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. This season, now that you aren't playing baseball anymore, what do you miss the most? Something that maybe you didn't expect to miss, those little moments with your teammates on the field, off the field? Uh, I would definitely have to say the locker room or the, the bus rides. Uh, those, are, th those are the most fun. Um, being on the bus, on those long bus trips, uh, there's some unforgettable things on those rides. Um, and even in the locker room, just being in there every day, all day, before, during practice um yeah it's fun um that's the main part that i'll remember from uh, this college experience i i believe i recall seeing a tweet where one of your teammates was giving you a kiss on the cheek while you were doing an interview what's the story behind that uh i think he's just trying to be funny uh he knows uh i'm pretty shy when it comes to interviews especially on live tv but he was just trying to mess with me and have a good time and yeah Going back to this season, what was one thing that you would have envisioned for this season and your team? Um, I mean, going to Omaha, um, that would have been nice. Uh, I think we had a really good chance of going to Omaha. Um, but, yeah, just being together as a group, knowing that we could accomplish anything, I think that's what hurts the most uh, about the season. But, yeah, I mean, we're we're in good hands now. Um whatever like we can't we can't control what is going on so it's best for it's best for everybody what's something positive that has come out of this situation for you or somebody that you know uh for myself i'll just be say uh taking care of my body um i know in the during the season it's hard to eat right because we're always on the go um but i'm taking this time to really learn how to cook more um learn how to uh make better food for myself and keeping my body in shape you got any examples of recipes you've made recently? Uh, no, not really. I'm just making a lot of chicken right now. Chicken. Got yeah. it. Hopefully some seasonings or something on there. Um, how are you feeling this time that you normally would have devoted to baseball? Is there anything that you've really gotten into? Um, I would say golf. Um, I've been golfing a lot right now uh, with one of my other teammates. Uh, yeah, it's just taking my mind off baseball right now. Um, and then just trying to stay active. Um, that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, golf has been something that I've been going to lately and it's, I've had a blast. Do you guys walk the course? You use a golf court? What kind of golfers are you? No, we use the golf cart. Uh, that's a lot of walking. <laughs> yeah, sounds something like I would do. Tell me about your best game or your favorite memory, favorite game moment. Um, I would probably say Super Regionals of last year, um, being, pitching at home during Super Regionals with our with our crowd. Um, it was very cool, very special moment, um, just being out on the mound with 7,000 people going crazy um, right on top of you. Uh, that was pretty cool. I, also, I would also say coming out of the bullpen in uh, Omaha last year, uh, we're playing Mississippi State. Uh, never came out of the bullpen that last year until then. So my adrenaline was going a little bit, and yeah, I just went out of there and kind of do it, did what I do, and good things happened. I know everybody is a big fan of your curveball. Got any secrets behind that? Uh, no, not really. Um, it's kind of just a standard grip, and I just throw it like a fastball, and kind of just comes out like that. Okay, here's a good one for you. Who on your team would you absolutely not be able to be quarantined with? Uh, I'd say Danny Oriente. Why is that? I would say that just because he's he's kind of dirty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. I, I'm kind of a neat freak a little bit. Um, I like my place clean. And he just, after seeing his locker, it's pretty messy. So, uh, yeah, he's he's pretty dirty right now. Stuff all over the place, I assume. What's the one thing that you're looking the most forward to when not only baseball returns, but just normalcy in general? Um, I think just going out to eat, like restaurants. Um, I, I miss that. Um, I've been... I go to restaurants all the time with my friends, family, uh, and not being able to do that right now, it's, it's kind of tough. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. What's your go-to favorite restaurant? Ooh, um, I like Texas Roadhouse. I like, I like sirloin, uh, mashed potatoes or baked potatoes, um, some fried pickles and that's, that's it. <laughs> and those rolls in the beginning. Yeah. What is next for you? Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of taking it day by day, uh, seeing how everything plays out. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the future, um, even though I don't really know what it looks like now. But yeah, um, whether it's the draft or coming back for a year, I guess we'll find out whenever that happens. And here's the challenge at the end. Who do you want to hear from next? And what's one thing you'd want to ask them? Um, I think I, I played with these guys last summer. Uh, we got to know each other pretty well. Uh, so I'm going to go with Cole Wilcox and Logan Allen. Uh, just one thing I would ask them is uh, what kind of mindset do they have when they take them out? That's, our, that's a good one. We'll try to make it happen. Thank you, Reed, for joining me. And stay safe and healthy. Thank you. You too.